Arms, hands, knees, fingers, not your fingers, ears, yes, eyes, too, nose, and I've had worse, chin, blind, hair, I'm a girl! No! No! I'm not a girl? No. Uh, then still not, Ginger! There's something else. There's something important. I'm... 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 Crashing! Scary stuff, eh? That's how we were introduced to the 11th Doctor on New Year's Day and the new series of Doctor Who begins on BBC One this weekend and as a special treat for all Who fans, we're joined in the studio by the new Doctor, Matt Smith, and indeed his new assistant, Karen Gillan. Good morning Hello. to both of you. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to the Good Morning Ulster studio. Oh, well, you, good You've morning. been looking around with interest at our ancient technology here, Doctor, in the radio studio. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I really have. There's a few microphones, there's a great big green light. It's quite, it's weirdly quite simple, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, suppose, I suppose maybe compared to the TARDIS. Well, that's and what I was on thinking. that note, actually, one of our yes. uh, listeners has texted us in and wanted to know, has the TARDIS changed inside? Have you gone in and done a little bit of DI? Why, perhaps? Yeah, we've got to see something creative. new. We are, we are going to see something new. Really? Yeah. Amy and the Doctor have been busy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, tell us. Go on, a little sneak preview. Go on. Yeah. Oh, no, if we we told you, I'd have to kill you. It's, it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it is new, but you, you, I mean, you'll find out on Saturday. What can we tell them? What it's beautiful. Tell? Yeah, it's got levels, we'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah. You're still going to be shaking a bite, though, a bit. Shaking them out. Well, you always shake a bite in the TARDIS, don't you? Go uh, from one oh, side oh, to the other. Oh, of course, do a bit like kind the of... The TARDIS dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek acting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What, what did it feel like, Matt, when you were first told you were the new Doctor? And this question actually <clears> comes <throat> from 12-year-old Emma from Ballanderry. Hello, Emma. Sorry. Uh, what did it feel it. like when you were told that you were going to be the new Doctor? Oh, God. Well, it felt... Um, very special. I felt very privileged. And, I mean, I couldn't tell anyone, of course, Emma, for... for uh, three months but um um i listened to frank sinatra for a couple of days and i felt on top of the world of course it was it was very <laughs> it was it, you're I, gonna I be a bit of a, a sort of smooth of dude doctor listening to sinatra and <laughs> well, sipping my cheese then are you is that <laughs> the idea i'm not sure he's smooth is he really? <laughs> um, i think um, he maybe tries to yeah be. <laughs> he tries to be that. no but uh, that was me matt just because i didn't really know how to compute it so uh I Sinatra. Yeah, Sinatra, Sinatra helps compute. the perfect remedy. Yeah. <laughs> and Karen, what about you? Pretty exciting break for you, isn't it? Or yeah, what? really, really exciting. Um, yeah, when I found out I got the part, it was just sort of one of the most surreal feelings I've ever felt. And I just sort of jumped around. Was it part of your childhood, Doctor Who? Uh, no, not really. I'm kind of too young to appreciate the older stuff. But my mum's actually a really big fan of <laughs> Doctor Who. She's a huge fan, isn't Well, she? a huge fan, yeah. I mean, she is a full-on Whovian. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, I've seen quite a lot of it <laughs> through her. We're learning, yeah. we're learning this morning. Tara and Callum in Carrie Duff um, wanted to ask Matt a question. Hello, guys. Which of the ten predecessors will you draw on for your Doctor, or are we going to see something completely different something completely different i think i think i don't think there's a, it's ever conscious that you borrow bits of other people's performance but um whether or not there are shades and flavors of other doctors in there i don't know but um i particularly like patrick troughton i think he's rather wonderful but uh it was you know it's it, it's completely spontaneous and, and, and new to me and the scripts I Can get. you do what you want? Do they let you <laughs> decide what the Doctor's going to be like or does the producer Don't say be ridiculous. this Doctor's You will do what we tell you to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a, a, I listen to the wise words of Stephen, Beth and Piers who are the um, executive producers but you work with the director and yeah, but to a certain extent, I guess. You're having a good impact on the young people of Northern Ireland already, you'll be pleased to hear. Oh, really? Matt, could you do Good Morning Ulster every day, please? I've never seen Grace get up so quickly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, good morning, Ulster. Good morning, Grace. <laughs> Amy, um, we got a lot of texts coming in of people asking, uh, why don't we have a woman doctor? Did you, did you actually audition for the doctor and just get the assistant? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, it would be interesting to have a woman doctor, wouldn't it? It's never been done before. Well, would not, it work? Not for a couple years, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to stay in the job? I got yeah. my eye on that part. Yeah. It's interesting though, Amy, that the women you are following from this, the most recent series of Doctor Who, they've, they've been different, haven't they? They're quite strong women, quite assertive yeah. women. feisty is probably the commonly used word for the Doctor Who companions. Um, but yeah, I think, well, I think it takes a certain type of girl to actually get in the TARDIS and go yeah. with the Doctor. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're not going to be a wallflower who does something like that. 
And a bit of romance, maybe, this time? Well, you never oh, know. You have to wait and see. Oh. So we're not getting much here, Connor. We're not getting <laughs> Not only wears a vintage tweed jacket. <laughs> Doctor Who, why does he wear a vintage Harris tweed jacket? Because it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did you introduce uh, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, um, well, I wanted there to be an element of the professor about him, and um, it just sort of fitted my body and shape and felt like an extension of my personality. And to all intents and purposes, that is how the Doctor Who costume should should sort of feel, I suppose. Yeah, and is, yeah, that, is that part of it? Because I, I was wondering, do, w considering the flamboyance of some of your predecessors... Tom Baker and the scarf! Yes. Mm, oh, I love mm. Tom oh, Baker's scarf. scarf. I yeah, needed one, you know. It took me forever. I know, it's quite... It's <laughs> very long, aren't do, they? Do you get to choose... Do you decide the style of the Doctor? Yes, I'm part of that process. There's a team of people. There's the uh, costume designer Ray and Piers and Beth and Stephen, who are the executive producers, you know, all have impeccable taste. So so we put our heads together and we, and, and we try and be as inventive as possible, really. But I do think this particular Doctor's costume will evolve. I want a hat. But talking of costumes, Karen, you're from Inverness, aren't you? Yeah. Like a, ta I... a tartan theme, maybe, coming mm, in? Yeah, I, I, I've um. never really sort of worn tartan. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a bit, I don't know, because I've got ginger hair, it'd just be a bit stereotypical. <laughs> it would feel like a bit of a cliche. A bit of a exactly. biscuit box. Yeah. 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 A question for both of you from Jake Smith in London, Derry, who also says thank you for coming on and Hello, good Jake. luck. He oh. says, how long does it take to film one episode? Karen? One episode takes two weeks to film. My goodness. Mm. Yeah, so how many days is that? We do, um... Well, it's 12 days because we have yeah. a weekend. So, um, so we shoot two a month. It's tough work, Jake. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, intense. 25 to 30 pages a week, generally. Um, which in, I suppose if you don't work in the film business, that means nothing, but <laughs> 25 to 30 pages of, of the script, and I guess each script is about 60 pages long. So Will the Weeping Angels be making a reappearance? Oh, I like that Aiden episode. from Pomeroy. Now that, that Aiden. Part, what was that about then? They will be making yeah, it. Yeah, they will. And it's they're so scary. scary. They yeah. are the scariest monsters in Doctor Who ever, yeah. I think. Scary. Yeah, they're incredible. They are. They're just... Oh, are we having oh. are we having old monsters and new monsters then? We are both old yeah. and new and some very exciting new Daleks. Ones. Oh come yeah. on, Cybermen, yeah. Daleks, the Daleks. Yeah. But wait till you see what <laughs> the Daleks, yeah. well, have done. I mean, There's it's a uh, twist. It's, it's, it's well, first quite of all, impressive. they couldn't go up the stairs. Now they can go up the oh, stairs. Yeah. So what's the yeah. next level for a guy? <laughs> well, I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, can Somebody they come wants down? Somebody to know can they how down? you're going to deal, Matt, with all your predecessors adoring female fans. Uh, well, um, well, hopefully they'll they'll <laughs> they'll adore me. I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, who knows? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. And build up your own band. <laughs> yes. Of adoring well, female let fans. us hope so. Uh, one one can certainly live in hope. Well, eh? you've got a companion to fight them off for you if you well, get exactly. trouble, haven't yes. you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck to the pair of you. Uh, you, you, you're off to Inverness now on a great tour of the Highlands and Islands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's quite exciting. We go to Inverness and then down to Sunderland and Salford and uh, back to my hometown of Northampton. But thank you for having us on. We've well, had a lovely thank time. You. Thank you very much. Big for response in. from everyone. They're yeah. delighted. Uh, let's hope you make the most of it. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy, Enjoy the show. Enjoy. Saturday. Thank you. Thanks yeah. a lot. Bye bye. 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 bye.